And our director, Sharon Kelly, uh -huh. has been nominated for an Emmy. That's right. And Dick is going to arrange to have the table for us on Emmy night. Oh, all oh, right. Thank you so much. Isn't that nice of him? All right. There goes Gladmo all the way to the top row. The top row. Gladmo? Yes. As you go to your right, the very first brownie. That's you right here. What's your name? Denise is our winner. There's Denise. Okay. A quick detour to say hi to the moms and dads. Hi, moms. Hi, dads. And thanks for bringing the kids. How are you all? I must continue my little survey. How many of you watched when you were kids? About half. All right. <laughs> Where is Billy, Billy Bob the bear? bear I, he was around here. Billy oh, Bob. Billy Bob. Hey, Billy Here's Bob. Amy. There's Amy. Hi, Amy. Hi. And Amy is here from Showbiz Pizza because... He brought you some pizza. <laughs> pizza for breakfast. Yeah, Billy Bob. All right. And here comes Billy Bob. Now explain what Billy Bob's got in the hat. Billy Bob has the entries for the Billy Bob bench warmer with the Arizona Outlaws. And the kids come into showbiz and they write their name on a piece of paper and then Gladmo draws them and they get to walk out and present the game ball That's at the game. They're the cool cat for the week. All right. Yeah, so and we've arrived at that moment. We arrived at that moment. Let me, uh, I'll just uh, hold on to this. I'm going to reach in okay. and pick out this week's winner. The cool cat that is. Da -da -da -da. April Davenport of Phoenix. April Davenport. Okay, and uh, you had something special for next week. Yeah, next week we're going to pick two winners, and the, the two kids and their fathers will get to walk out onto the field. The oh, fathers there. that's right. So we're going to have two winners, two kids and two dads. Yeah. If this turns out to be a relative of Rita's, the fix is in. <laughs> well, wait a minute. We'll find out April Davenport. We have another Davenport winner here. We do? Where's Michael Davenport? Yeah. Is Michael Davenport? Name too? Yeah. Michael Davenport, how are you? Stand up here. With his Ghostbuster t-shirt. Is this your sister, April? Do you have a sister named April? No. Oh. All right. There's a lot of Davenports out there, We're just checking it. Okay, let me hand this over to you. <laughs> That's funny. There's a lot of Davenports out there. <laughs> and couches and sofas and easy chairs. Billy Bob, thank you very much for oh, bringing the pizza. Yes. Did you bring enough for all the brownies? Who's You're my kind of bear. Tell me how many pizzas we brought. Five, Five. biggies. While we pass out the pizza, Billy Bob. you go ahead and watch these messages, and we'll be right back. Yeah. Pass out the pizza, and then we'll pass out. We'll get it all. All right. Get ready for pizza. Arizona Maine Society. Was it kitty or is it a cat? In between. In between? Six months old. Ah, okay. And it's lost. Oh, Cats find its no. owners. We're hoping its owners are watching. They're, oh, what a beautiful cat. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that the shelter holds cats. Uh -huh. We hold them for three days. Okay. So if you're looking for this cat, we might have him at the shelter. All right. So there it is. Check him out. Do you have any kitties up for adoption over there? Yes. Okay. Lots of little kittens and a lot of adult cats also. All right. Up for the, thank you, Debbie. Well, thank and I hope you. the owner calls up and finds that cat, because it sure is pretty. I hope so, too. Okay. Excuse me. I have to see what Wallboy has. Oh, okay. What's happening, Wallboy? I would like to announce the winners, oh. photo winners, kids and their pets. Okay, okay, okay. It's one of my favorite parts of the show. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Jared McIntyre and a couple of friends. And their doggy. Wow, look at a dog. <laughs> Big dog? No, small kid. Yes. <laughs> Chris Casey. Uh-huh. And a nice looking kitty. Oh, yeah. Pat Drake out in Apache Junction. Uh-huh. With a couple of dogs. And it looks like the ink on her name came right through the photo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's my fault. And here's for Mike Lamb. Here is a picture with his cat. Oh, I like you. That's a good picture. <clears throat> and you know how like dogs like to chew on towels? This is one from Sarah yeah. Reed. A little different ratio. There we go. Wah, 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 wah. They're playing tug of war. Yeah. yeah. Andrew Mazik and his dog. <laughs> good. <laughs> Taking good a dog. nap. Pet photos. Keep them coming. We want these kids to come down, be on the show, and get a Ladmo bag. Oh, I'll get the door, old boy. Come in. <laughs> ah. Hey, Uncle Harris, Gerald! Yeah. 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 Lando 
Well, did you notice? Did you notice? What? Amidst all of the booing, the cat calls, and the derisive epithets. Huh? Bad stuff. Oh. Did you notice that there were a couple of cheers? Where? Th that kid and that kid. And I want them removed from the studio. I've got a reputation to uphold. Get them out of here. Come on, Jerry. They're our guests. You've got to be nice to them. I came in to be nice to you. You were nice to me? Yes, and it's an effort. What do you want to be nice to me about? Allow me to recommend a truly superior restaurant. For what? When those of us who are about town find something like this, we like to share it. Oh, okay. Claude's Cuisine out in Paradise Valley. <laughs> Sounds expensive. What'd you order? Last night at Claude's, uh -huh. I had capon fricassee with sherry cream sauce. <laughs> Sounds fancy. You're right. <laughs> oh, I guess you wouldn't like what I got for lunch. What is it? Check it that out, huh? Huh? Can you believe that? Ah, what is that? Well, it, it used to be a sandwich, see, until I poured the chocolate on it. <laughs> then it kind of fell apart. <laughs> see, you, you can see where I tried to tie it together, you know. Uh, see the raw strips of bacon over there? You tied it with raw strips yeah, of bacon? I put a square knot in it, too. Is that great? No, no, no. See, see, this part over here? Well, it got soggy because of all the ketchup. You know, I hit the bottle kind of hard. It was all over. Oh. Oh, it was good, good, good. But it'll be okay if I just wash the whole thing down with a vanilla egg cream. Mmm. You know, you put it in the beer. Ah. And then you, just, yeah. and you, can, you can dunk it then. And, oh, that's good. That's amazing. <laughs> What are we going to do about us? Us? You and I. You and I. <laughs> Darling, you got that right. Tarzan, Jane, hurt me, boy, love it, Jane. Weissmuller, O'Sullivan, TV5, Hollywood greats. What a treat. The first all-talking Tarzan movie from 1932 this Saturday night on Hollywood greats. We have some winners, Lionel Bag winners, and your name is? Kevin. Welcome to the show, Kevin. Now let's meet... Brandy. Hi, Brandy. And they have their Lionel Bags filled with lots and lots of good stuff. And maybe later on in the show, we'll check what's in the Lionel Bag. Right now, Wallboy has more winners to announce. What kind of winners this time, Wallboy? Funny pictures. Funny pictures! All right. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> All right, this is from uh, Susan Marie Nye. Your oldest baby carriage. It looks like a dog. There's. <laughs> he goes. Grrr. Gerald has a baby bottle and a baby carriage. Okay. Here, here's uh, Gerald. This is sent in by Jan Copeland. What's that? Uh, I don't know, understand who that is with Gerald. Who is that with Gerald? Who is this? A monster. Monster. Who is this? Gerald has a monster. <coughs> and here's uh, from Brooke Pauly a picture of uh, Bafo the clown. <coughs> And here, you have to look down the corner of this one. There's a picture of Gerald here. Oh, I see that, yeah. It says, woo, yeah. and it's from Chris Glow. And finally, uh -huh. a picture of Captain Super from Paul Hernandez. Okay. Captain Super, wow. Oh, it's probably one of his uh, magazine covers, right? Yeah, right, right off the, torn from the pages of Captain Super comic books. Right. Captain Super. Ooh. All right, those are our funny picture winners. We want them to come down be on the show. Oh, well, that could be. Come in. Oh, howdy, Marshall. Good. Howdy, partner. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Ah, <laughs> you see that Western wall? Yeah, I see. Hey, I hate to take advantage of you, but uh, could you, could I ask you a question? Some advice. Oh, wait. You want to tap my wisdom and experience? That's huh? right. That's right. Uh -huh. Because you know, cowboy and everything else. Certainly. Go right ahead. What advice do you have for the young performers out there? I mean, what does it take to be an actor? The four Ds. Didn't they used to record for capital? No, no, no. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the four Ds. Determination, dedication, discipline, and dignity. Dignity? An actor, Ladmo, needs dignity when he's 
asking a casting director or a producer for a job. Oh, I see. Would you like to see my technique? Yeah, the kids are interesting. As an example, then, of the dignity of actually going in to apply for work. That's right. You walk right up to that casting director. Uh-huh. That producer. You look him right in the eye. Right in the eye. And you say, with authority. With authority. Please, I gotta have this. Marsha, Marsha. It's my last shot. I'll do anything. Wait, Give me the part. I'll sweep up. You have no idea. Hey, Marsha. 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 Marsha.